Praise the Lord forever. Honest to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, uh, there's a there's a lot of Christians out there that are that just feel beaten and defeated and weak. Christians are feeling like they're just being destroyed. And, you know, I, I think that Christians are not aware of the authority that they have and the power that they have and that God has actually released an extra anointing, an extra power, a thick power in the lives of Christians nowadays, especially the, especially the obedient ones. But I'm here to let you know, and I'm here to, you should, you should absolutely be aware that you have an immense amount of power through prayer and worship and praise. And if you read the Bible, God will speak to you today. He will do it now. Times have changed. This, it's different than it was last week and it's different than it was 10 years ago, even 100 years ago. The Spirit of the Lord is thick upon the earth right now. If you could only see what's going on in the spiritual world, it would astound you and it would actually put fear in you because the, the, the angels are fighting a brutal battle against the principalities, power, spiritual wickedness in high places and the rulers of the darkness. And of course, they always win. Now, all those powers and rulers of the darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, those are the ones that have been coming after you and your family. But I got to let you know, it's time to stand up. It's time to get a backbone, Christians. It's time to realize who you are because are you a son of God? Are you a daughter of God? Who are you? You are the son of God. One of the daughters of God. You, I mean, you're related to the creator of the universe. You, and you know that. Now, put you, hold up your head up high. The Bible clearly states there now there is no condemnation, no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. And that's all of us. Not unless, of course, you're, you're just abusing God's grace. But you've been forgiven. And you are continuously forgiven as you live in repentance, as you live in God's forgiveness, as you are aware and then you are asking God to forgive you for many different things during the day. And you know, God is not holding a list against you, a list of, well, he did this, he did that, he, she did this, she did that. He doesn't do that. In fact, he forgets about them faster than you do. Now it's time to raise your head up high and fight for your family, fight for your job, fight for your, your automobile, fight for your property, fight for your, to get your rent paid. The only way you're going to do that is to go to God. You can't go to him in shame, go to him with confidence each and every day. Don't let, refuse to allow the enemy to destroy you, to destroy your family, because you have the, the, the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to bind every unclean spirit that comes against you, your family, your generations, and so on. And you also have the authority to command them to die. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And to set them in a cage before the throne of God for judgment. Now you have that, that power. Now you have that authority. You have that grace. You have that anointing. I'm letting you know this, this right now. It's time to use it. Because things are getting serious now. If you don't, if you don't use your authority, your God-given right, then you're going to get beat up. And we're in, we're in a war. 
people. What do what do warriors do? What do soldiers do? They go off to war. They take their weapons. Some of them come back and some of them don't. Some of them come back bruised, beaten, crippled. And some of them don't come back at all. But that's what war is all about. So what? You get a few bruises here and there. You get you you something some you know something this that or the other thing. You lose a, a arm or or something like that. Don't stop fighting. Keep on fighting. God will give you a new arm. He will uncripple you. It's part of it's part of what you're here to do anyway. You're part, you're here to be tested. You're here to be tried. If you just lay down and, and let the enemy walk all over you, what kind of son or daughter of God are you? Just get beat up. And just give up. I just want you not to do that, people. Don't don't do that. Don't give in to the enemy. We got the most high God on our side. We got the Holy Spirit. We got Jesus Christ. We have cloud of witnesses. We have a gazillion righteous angels that are ready to fight for us at any given time. And you have angels with you that have never left your side ever since you, before you were born. Now it's time to stand up, take authority, bind the enemy and command them all to die. Put them in cages and set them at God's feet. Ready? Mm -hmm. Then said... Then said David, David oh, keep going. To the Philistine, thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the, the God, God of, of the armies, armies of Israel, Israel whom, whom thou, thou hast defiled. defiled. This, this day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. thee. I will I give thee the carcasses, carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this, this day unto the fowls of the air. air. And to the wild beasts of the earth, and that all the earth may know that there is God in Israel. And all this assembly shall be gone. Shall know that the Lord saveth not with the sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands. Now this is First Samuel, um, seventeen, chapter seventeen. Everyone knows this, the story of of David, and this is the power that we have now. We are all Davids now. There are female Davids, there are male Davids. That David was a little boy at this time. And we're all kids to God. So, Father, and this is how you pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for us, Lord. We love you. We all live in repentance. Pray with me. We all live in repentance. And we thank you for forgiving us of everything that we've ever done wrong, sincerely. Because you said there's no condemnation. You don't hold it against us. If we even make mistakes, you don't hold it against us. As long as we don't take advantage of your grace, you're good to go with us because you love us and you have a lot of love for us and you're extremely kind. And we thank you for uh, this opportunity to serve you here on earth and to, to serve you throughout all eternity. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for, for um, your um Example of the servant of David, Lord Jesus Christ. And this is how we pray, Father, the enemy. We, do, we bind you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, coming against our families and our, and our kids and our loved ones, our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, our brothers, our aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, Father. We, we, um, the enemy come against us with a sword and with a spear and with a, and with a shield, Father. But we, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come, we come at the enemy, we go at him, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and the, the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom, whom, um, whom the enemy has defiled. We come against them in Jesus' name, all of them, the principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness, rulers of the darkness, um, spirits in high places. We come against them all. We bind them. We cage them. We chain them. We mute, muzzle, gag them, nullify them, stop them, stop, um, stop them in their tracks. Lord, we pray. That there be no retaliation against us because of these prayers, Lord Jesus Christ. And we, we divide their camps, Lord Jesus. 
confuse their, uh, their communications, Father Jesus, in Jesus' name. Stop them from coming against our kids. Stop them from coming against our parents. Stop them from coming against all of our loved ones, our, our, our nieces, our nephews, Lord Jesus, the parents of our kids, Lord Jesus Christ. Break every, break every generational curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all, the lawful ones and the unlawful ones, Lord Jesus Christ. We're taking authority over the enemy, just as David did, Lord. And you standing by our side and many angels standing behi behind you, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to dispatch the angels, Lord, to set the people free in Jesus' name. You said this day, the, David said this day, and we say this day, Lord, the Lord will deliver thee into mine hand. We will cut the head off the giant, Lord Jesus. Give us the power. Give us the stone, Lord Jesus, to, to, to stop the giant, to thrust out the enemy from before us and say, destroy them, Lord Jesus Christ. Give us the strength to cut the head off the giant, Lord Jesus Christ, and feed the body to the birds, Lord Jesus Christ. Take the head off of, we're going to cut the head right off of the giant in Jesus' name. And I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and the wild beast of the earth. And all there is, and all will know that there is a God in Israel. Father, we thank you that we are Israel. We love you for that. Sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord is saveth not by the sword but he saves and he doesn't save by the spear but he saves that he will give you into our hands and that's what we thank you for Lord Jesus for defeating the enemy for us simply because we ask we know you'll do this give us the courage to and the strength and the boldness to keep praying like this and keep reading your word. We honor you. We praise you. And we glorify you forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Subscribe to the channel guys. Uh, definitely give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video please. And um, share the video. And leave a comment. Got a prayer request? Go for it. Have a great day in Jesus name. This is First Samuel, Samuel chapter 17.